exosome promote skin wound healing and hair regeneration in vitro enemy. Hi, uh, my name is Yong Soon Park from South Korea and my topic is ideal combination of exosomes and growth factors promote skin and hair regeneration in vivo and in vitro. I have been practicing uh, medical and cosmetic dermatology and surgical dermatology for uh, 16 years in the heart of uh, uh, Seoul, Gangnam area. And uh, I have been studying stem cell since 2004. And these are the list of the uh, papers that I published in the SCI journals. And my work is also uh, published in the text of Aging Skin, the first edition in 2009 and the second edition in 2017. And we succeeded in the world first commercialization of the stem cell uh, proteins and exosomes in 2006. We do not use stem cell itself and uh, our, our protein is named as AAP. And AAP stands for Advanced Adipose Drive Stem Cell Protein Extract. And this is my topic. The first, I want to talk about hair regeneration without surgery. And I'll show you some clinical cases. Uh, the most common types of hair loss alopecia is androgenetic alopecia. And as you know, the males and females show quite different clinical patterns. And this is the, some of the uh, examples of the patient that got improved. And this kind of improvement usually takes about four months. Another type of alopecia is telogenic flubium. You know, the telogenic flubium is characterized by the rapid transition from the antigen, the growing phase, to telogen, the resting phase. And you know, the causes are diverse, but most commonly, uh, women suffer from telogenic flubium after giving birth to baby, and other causes are psychological stresses. And uh, actually, this is a very famous Korean actress. And uh, she's, her age is 40. And she gave birth to a baby. And after six uh, years later, she's still suffering from the uh, hair loss in her angle of his forehead. And she got treatment four times, two weeks apart. And she was really surprised by the regenerated hairs. She said in public at the TV show. And the mechanism of the AP to protect uh, is they protect hair follicle, the dermal papillary cells and matrix characteristics from growth suppression by dihydrotestosterone reactive oxygen species. This is the uh, fluorescent stain. And as you can see here, the curve, the dihydrotestosterone or reactive oxygen species has a bad impact on the hair follicles. But if you treat APE, their suppressed uh, suppression is regained. Uh, I can summarize the mechanism of hair regeneration using the uh, stem cell protein extract into three uh, folds. The first one is they increase the proliferation of hair follicle cells and they stimulate the phase transition from the telogen to antigen and they protect uh, uh, dermal papilla cells from the cytotoxic injury by androgen and reactive oxygen species. These works were published in the um, current stem cell research and therapy in 2017 and uh, uh, this was only was conducted in 25 patients in 12 weeks, and there is a significant increase in the hair density and hair thickness. Also, I applied this for female pattern hair loss, 
Um, it was published in the International Journal of Dermatology in 2015. As you can see here, there the female panorhalos patients show uh, great improvements. This is before and after, before and after, before and after. And there is also significant increase in hair density and hair thickness. So I think that the AP is the first evidence based on stem cell accepted in the SCI journals with the clinical test results in humans. And as you can see here, this is the very precise phototrichogram. And the upper our photos are placebo treated. And the CD is the uh, AP treated side. And as you can see here, we make a tattoo and cut the hairs and we follow the by photo by follicle. And as you can see here, the red figures indicate the uh, follicle number, follicle uh, series. And the number three, there's only one hair. As you can see here, there are two hairs. And number nine, there is nothing. As you can see here, there are two hairs. Number one, only one hairs. And as you can see here, two hairs. So this is the very uh, precise uh, evidence that the uh, AP is effective for hair regeneration. There are so diverse examples, and this is the a case uh, sent from Mexico, and they treat three months, and there is a uh, great improvement in male pattern hair loss. And this is another example that was published in the American Journal of Cosmetic Surgery in 2012. And uh, this patient got six treatments, and there's a good uh, improvement in his hair loss. And this is also effective for female pattern hair loss. And this study was also published in the American Journal of Cosmetic Surgery. And she got uh, six treatments in 17 months and there was a dramatic increase in her uh, hair density and hair thickness. So our question is, are stem cells and proteins are really effective? Maybe if you inject fillers, there are three major danger zones. Supratrochlear area, uh, olive nose, and the tip of nose. And if the filler is injected into the blood vessel, the skin necrosis is uh, inevitable. And there can be diverse trials to overcome these things. And maybe some doctors use PRP. And this case was published in the Korean Journal of Dermatology 2010, but there remain some scars and not satisfactory. But if you apply stem cell, there is a no scar remaining. And this is another example that uh, this a gentleman got a uh, filler injection in his nose, and after right after the injection, she suffered. He suffered from the intense uh, pain and some discoloration into purple color. And many doctors said that uh, the plastic surgery for reconstruct surgery is inevitable, but the with the stem cell, there remains no scars. Miraculous. So, our, my conclusion is that stem cells are really, really effective, but stem cell itself is really hard to uh, use in the clinic. So, I did animal study, and this is published in Dermatologic Surgery in 2008, and we did uh, stem cell and protein extract injected. And this is Western blood analysis, and there's a fivefold, almost fivefold increase in type 1 collagen. And as you can see here, there is no difference between the stem cell and the proteins. So, I came to the conclusion that we could use stem cell protein instead of stem cell itself. So, in the protein analysis, there are over 300 kinds of proteins with diverse beneficial effects. And this is another example of the animal experiment. And we make a wound in the back of a mouse. And on the right side was treated with the stem cell um, and stem cell protein. And there is a dramatic uh, difference in the speed of the wound healing after one week. 
and these are the in vitro experiments that there is a stimulatory effect on the human dermal fibroblast proliferation and the condition media promote the migration of the human dermal fibroblast almost two folds. So uh, our, I published in other papers uh, the effect of the stem cell condition media and there is a definite anti-melanogenic effect and also there is anti recall effects. So, my next question is, how do you apply bio biotechnology to your practice? Uh, AEP is effective in skin brightening and improving fine wrinkles, as you can see here. And AEP is also effective in skin brightening and improving poor complexion. Uh, and last one. Also, very intractable melasma, and she didn't get any laser treatments whatsoever. And also, pH is improved. Uh, there are diverse examples. And uh, the treatment protocol is after diagnosis, you can apply anesthetic cream, and NAP is applied using the dermal roller or dermal pan. And after that, we can use plasma devices or our solar fluorescent devices to increase the penetration. And AEP covers, when we talk about the hair, uh, AEP covers the most stages of the uh, male pattern hair loss, but usually focus on the uh, mild to moderate cases. But for female pattern hair loss, you can cover all the stages. So the protocol is simple. The diagnosis and they shampoo and they apply AEP with the dermal roll or dermal pen, and maybe some other uh, synergistic treatments can be done. So uh, my next topic is what is the stem cell exosome? Uh, stem cell exosome is a, also called extracellular vesicle. Uh, this is a relatively recently found molecule with the size of 30 to 150 nanometer. And they are secreted by most of the cells. But they act as a very important communicator between the cells. And they are involved in the power activity of stem cells. And they have regenerative potentials. And this is the... Uh, electron microscopy picture, and there, this is the moment that these uh, exosomes are secreted from the cells. And another key feature of stem cell exosome is that they are lifted by a layer enclosed particle, and they are very stable and they easily absorbed by target cells. As you can see here, these red fluorescences, the exosomes, and they are taken up by the target cells quite uh, nicely. So how stem cell exosomes are effective and uh, why ideal combination is important? Maybe we have, our team have published in the uh, experiment of dermatology and exosomes from uh, stem cell exosomes can promote proliferation and migration of skin fibroblasts. And also stem cell exosomes promote dermal papilla cell proliferation in a dose dependent manner, but there is certain optimal dose. After optimal dose, there's also uh, not good effects. And we have applied this uh, to 25 patients, and the uh, 25 patients, and they have received uh, diverse numbers of treatments, but their hair density increased from 102 to 122, and hair thickness increased from the 57 to 64. So I think that we came to a conclusion that the, the holistic combination of growth factors and exosomes are most effective for our dermal papilla cell proliferation and uh, uh, fibroblast proliferation. This is the basic medium, and these are the holistic combination. And when you treat exosome only or uh, previous virgins, the holistic combination is most effective for uh, dermal papilla cell proliferation. Also, when we uh, compare this with the exosome only, there's the holistic combination is better uh, when you compare the equal amounts of exosome particles. So, uh, our conclusion is the natural composition of exosomes and growth factor is ideal for skin and hair regeneration. And this is a comparison that AP is the holistic combination of bones, muscles, and blood vessels. But AP exosome is just part of the AP. 
So this is my conclusion. Natural combination of exosomes and growth factors is ideal for skin and hair regeneration. And there's a objective data on the improvement of diverse aspects of skin aging, such as wrinkles and melasma. And future application is for uh, rosacea, vitiligo, and atopic dermatitis. And this is effective for both androgeny, endogenetic alopecia, and telogen effluvium. Thank you.